Hello guys, welcome back again to our Laravel series. So today we're gonna learn something new again. And in this video, let's try to connect to a multiple database. So by default, Laravel only connects to one database, which can be seen here in our .env. So here are our default database connections. So right now I am connected to the Laravel tutorial database. So let's go ahead and see that one in our database manager. So as you can see here, I have Laravel tutorial. So this is the default database that we are connected right now. So as you can see, I have tables here. So let's retrieve the fruits table only. And at the same time, we will extend our database connection to the Laravel to-dos, which has currently a one table called the to-dos. So let's go ahead and try that one. As you can see here, I already defined my database connection. So my default database connection is my MySQL, which is connected to the Laravel tutorial. And now let's extend our connection. So let's go ahead first and create views and retrieve the fruits table from the Laravel tutorial database. Okay. So first, I'm gonna make a controller. PHP artisan make controller. So the controller name should anything. So I'm just gonna say try controller and hit enter. So let's go ahead and check. So I have already here HTTP controllers and try controller. And now let's create a function public function index so this should return the views so right now we don't have the view yet so let's go ahead and create that one in our resources views so I'm gonna create a new file here called try.blade.php and I will just create a dumb html file here so first let's display the fruits fruits so all fruits should display here so let's connect this one first so in our controller let's return the view return view the view name which is try and also let's pass a data so let's pass a date the called fruits which has a value of all fruits so this variable is not yet created so let's go ahead and create this one so here i'm just gonna use a query builder so all fruits is equal to db table fruits then let's select all then retrieve go ahead and save that one and let's try to just uh, display this one in our view so let's try if we successfully fetch the data so fruits save and let's go ahead to our browser and visit the route okay try oops my bad so let's define the routes first in web.php i'm just gonna go ahead and copy this one and paste and instead of returning anonymous function i'm just gonna use i'm just gonna call the try controller try controller class with a function index and let's name this one as try save and let's go ahead to our browser and check this one so refresh and there we go so our fruits is now been displayed so let's kind of make some changes on our ui so for example let's display it in our in a ul list so Add for each fruits as fruit 
and for each and let's go ahead and display this one so we have now access each fruit using the fruit variable the fruit key fruit the name save and refresh so good start and now let's try to connect to different database so to do that go ahead in your config and go to the database.php so as you can see laravel already defines some default values so here as you can see the default connection is mysql so let's go ahead and find this value mysql so let's scroll down so we have connections and there is mysql here is the default configuration of mysql connection and we scroll down more we have some options i mean we have some another connection like postgres sql sql serve for microsoft sql server and redis so you can do more here so what i'm gonna going to do is connect to other database so what i'm gonna going to do here is just copy this mysql and paste below and i will rename this one so i will rename it to to do db save and the driver is mysql so you can also change this one for example you want to connect to the mysql server so you need to type sql srv and define the url host and port so you need to know what are the configuration settings for the sql server so for now i'm just going to use the mysql so host i will leave it as localhost and default port of the mysql is 3306 so database as you can see here the database refers to the environment variables so you can also create the environment variable like this for example so for example you have this default connection so you can copy this one and paste down below and you just rename that one for example database connection 2 db host 2 db port 2 database 2 username 2 password 2 so you can still do that and just reference it to the to do db for example so in our database so this is no longer db database so let's put two in it and also for the username and password so you can do that one so but in this video i will just leave the default env variables and instead i will just gonna directly declare the values here so for example data the database so i'm gonna using the laravel to do so I'm just gonna type here laravel underscore to do and the username is just the same so root and the password so i don't have password set in the mysql so empty and just leave the others as it is so just save that one and now in our try controller so let's try to retrieve the to do table so as you can see the to do's is under laravel to do's and the fruits is under laravel tutorial which we already retrieved so we already created a second database connection called the to do's db so let's go ahead and retrieve that one so for example we'll, we will retrieve all to do's so what i'm gonna do here is using the query builder so i'm gonna type db connection and the connection name that we set so in our case to do's db to do's db then from wh which table so in our to do's db or in our laravel to do's we only have one table which is the to do's so let's go ahead and select all the fields and retrieve it so save and uh, let's pass this to do to our views also so comma and to do's and all to do's 
So hit save and uh, let's try to display our to do's in our view in our try that blade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this one and paste it below and here to do's and fruits. So this is no longer fruit, so this is to do's as to do to do so let's check if what's the column name for this so title so title to do title so save and let's try and check so let's refresh this one and there you go so we are already connected to two databases so the first one which is the default one is the laravel tutorial database which contains fruits uh, table and the second one is the laravel to do database which only contains the to do's table so that is for using query builder and now let's try to create using the eloquent orm so let's go ahead so let's go back to our try controller so as you can see here we retrieve the tables from different databases using query builder so now let's try to retrieve the tables using uh eloquent orm okay so what i'm gonna do now is just to comment out this one and as you can see in our models we don't have model for our fruits and to do's so what i'm gonna do now is create a model for each table i'm gonna type here php artisan make model so the model name so first let's create the fruits and the second one is the to do's and i think we're good to go so let's go ahead to our models and let's define the fruits first so here i'm gonna define which table should point this fruits model so protect so protect the table so this one points to fruits and protected fillable so name color and cost so save so let's try to display the fruits first so all fruits so instead of using query builder let's try to retrieve using the eloquent so fruits all save and let's go back to our view and so this to do's will throw an error because currently we don't set that one because we and uh because we commented that one so let's just comment it here so let's try wait we have some error here all oh, here so let's remove this one so let's go ahead to our browser and refresh so we have error undefined variable to do so let's check undefined variable to do so let's try So maybe the compiler still did this one. So I'm gonna delete this one and save and refresh again. So as you can see, we retrieve the fruits table using the eloquent. So now let's go ahead and retrieve the uh, to do model. So let's go to our models folder and to do's let's just do the same with fruits so i'm gonna copy this one and paste and just replace so here in our to do's we need to define the connection because our to do's model is stored in laravel to do's so we need to define the connection for this so we can do that using protected connection is equal to to do's db so this to do's db is what we declared to our database config earlier so 
hit save and the table is to do so the fillable are the title and remarks so let's go ahead and remove this one so hit save and let's try to retrieve that one so let's go ahead in our try controller so instead again of using query builder let's try the eloquence so to do all so save and let's reference that one so to do is all to do so save so let's go back to our view and and comment this one so save and let's go back to our browser and this should work now hit refresh and there you go so i think we're all done so i hope you learned something new again so see you guys on the next video